It's K Square. So in this video, we're gonna be giving you guys a phone tour. The first one is, what was the last photo we took? Let's get some screen recording. Where's the last, last photo I took? My last photo was actually your video. And it was, that's not a photo. Okay, it's okay, okay. The last, the last photo uh, I took, I don't take pictures. That I actually took. I think it would have to be the one that I posted recently. Was this. Who's mm -hmm. this one? That's a video. Oh, no, that's was a it? I think they mean photo of you. Oh, okay. Where is it? Um, that was a while ago. Here it is. That was the last photo I took. I don't take pictures. Oh, no. Oh, it has to be the last photo you took. No, you can't do that. This one's, no, no, it has no, to be the last photo you took. It has to be the last photo you took. The last one you took, you just cheated. No, you but this was the same day, so. That's not the last photo you took. No, 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 they can't see that. Last text message we received. So this one, <laughs> it's gonna show that I screen record it if I slide it on Snap, no? Will it show? Yeah, it'll show. Okay, I'll just read it out then. Why are you moving like a Bitmoji cartoon? How old are you? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> so on Instagram, <laughs> Said, where, it said, where did you go? The last message on Snap was a voice recording. On iMessage, the last text message I received was KK from my mother. <laughs> yes. no, this is what happens when you record with people in the house. <laughs> yeah. So the next one is, what was the last note you took? Kind of invading my privacy. So, okay, the last note I took. Okay, so it's a whole bunch of stuff to be honest. The first part is why did Canada remove their signature? And that was because I was, I was watching a presentation at school and then like you had to ask questions after, so I just wrote my question in my notes. And then the second one is a password for my training account. And then the Peel, what's it called? I don't, the Peel, is it an acronym or whatever? That I learned from watching TVJ, the school thingy. And then, that I needed to search up, so I just yeah. Uh -huh. Well, mine is me copying and pasting the Zoom class code. Next one is the last thing we googled. I don't have the Google app, so I guess Safari. Safari. Mine is um, it doesn't show. It's not showing the last thing I googled. The last thing was from math. Does that count? Well, yeah. It was it what color is light with the frequency of that why doesn't Something. it show for me is it oh it's not my right account that's my class account okay that makes I'm sense always in, wait, is okay my, the last thing i searched up was raptors versus celtics so that would have had to been like that would have that was months a couple months ago what's our most used emoji Mine's probably the crying one i bet mine is the crying one yeah I it's know. the crying right Oh, it shows me using it. See, I use it too much. Next one is home and lock screen. Stop playing with me. Mine says, mine has a pink aesthetic background with a bathtub. And it says, don't be fooled by the pink theme. I'm actually very sad. It's like a crack of help. <laughs> My whole screen is alkaline, a collage that I made of him. And then for my home screen, it's just a blank screen. And then at the bottom, it has a quote that says push and it's pray until something happens. Your, your lock screen. I told them. Your lock screen? Oh, my lock screen is a collage that I made. It's all pink and it's just pink pictures. Hit her up for collages. Food delivery. What was the last thing I used? I think it was Uber or was it Skip the Uber Dishes? Eats. I think it was Skip the Dishes. And I'm pretty sure it was Popeyes. It's both, I'll just see. Orders? Yep, yep. Aw, uh, it was September 1st, St. Louis. It was, for Skip the Dishes. It was Popeyes, Five Louis Combo. And for Uber Eats, it was 
sushi september 22nd it was yeah sushi from the restaurant car service like uber <laughs> uber or lyft um the last, last summer time, for me because um, i don't go out anyways the last time was uh about january of this year coming from how many alarms do you have i have a, a whole lot like i have one two three four five I delete some of them. I turned off all of them, but <laughs> I have a nice school in 30 minutes. Okay. My I have my bed one for seven. Okay, that I have turned on. I need to I turn have all two of these. Turned on. on. 630, 650, 655, 710, 715. Just to make sure I wake up, wake up. Yeah, and they're all alkaline songs, so I'll wake up in a good mood or whatever. Girl bad. <laughs> it's glitter. Last video we took. So this was the last video I took. It was during this video. Yeah, it was behind the scenes. And mine was before this video I was talking about. Total screen time. Ew, you have light mode. Yep. Dark mode's better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, what are we showing? Screen, um, daily okay. average for screen time. Unless screen record. Mine is nine hours. It went down 15% from last week. Mine is nine hours and 13 minutes. It went down 30% from last week. Oh, wow. What's the average? The average is the like average nine is hours. right there. Nine. Mine is I remember nine. in March, it was like 14 hours. Mine was like 18. <laughs> like, the only time I was on my phone. off it was when I slept. Exactly. And I barely slept. So next it is our, what's it called? Activity, like total activity, most used apps. Oh, oh, oh. So my most used app is Snapchat, two hours and 35 minutes, and then it's Best Fiends. You guys go download that right now. Two hours and 28 minutes, then Safari, then Instagram, photos, messages, and Google. My most used app is Zoom, cause school, I do it on my phone, cause the laptop is too big. And then Snapchat, and then TikTok, and then Google Maps, Messages, Calculator, and all that. Okay, and what about the amount of times you pick up your phone? That Ooh. shows. My daily average is 115. <laughs> and mostly it's for messages, text messages, and Snapchat. What about yours? So the daily average from last week is 68 times. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is down 20% from last Mine's week. Mine's up 83%, so I don't really... I'm, you don't always pick up your phone. in my hand, I guess. Okay, no. It's because I always, like, check it, you know? Like, even if there's no notifications, I always check it for the time. I think that counts, too. Says she wanna party with the chicka she wanna party with the chicka How many contacts? Do I have to screen record my contacts? No. Okay, let me not do that. Information. Not really. It's just their names. Everyone's I have, the same. I have 236. I guarantee over half of them I I don't talk to. Yeah, even in my contacts. I probably added them for iMessage games and that's it. Exactly. Because this is a bit too much. Like these are the only people I talk to. The people with emojis are the only people that I talk to. The rest of them just have their regular name. Most recent calls is from the orthodontist. The grad photo people. Oh my god! So my recent call on from yesterday and my missed call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys can see it. How many games do we have on our phone? You wanna go first? I have one, two, three, four. I have seven, I but have, I only played two. That's three. That's the, three. the, the problem. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me switch out that. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games. Recommended apps. I recommend to you guys Pinterest. You could search up anything and like ideas, and you get inspiration from it. Like you could search up um. DIY home decor and it gives you easy simple not simple but like easy home decor ideas. My recommended app I would say is this intro maker. Um that's what we use for our intro. And honestly it works really good. Like it gives you different templates and then you can um 
like cut out pictures you can edit pictures and put it you know all together it's kind of like easy it's not you know no coding and stuff that usual apps have the only downfall is you, downfall is you do have to pay for it if you want certain features it's worth it and i think for one time it's like 199 or 299 or something so it's not even that bad like it won't hurt your, your pockets it's good <laughs> So that was the ending of our phone tour video. And let us know if you want more videos like this down below or on our social media. Our social media will be in the description box down below. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.